This video will cover how to create graded activities and enter grades into Moodle. Ideally, you already know how to navigate the gradebook and have set up any categories, calculation, or aggregation for your gradebook. If you have not, please view the support documentation or videos linked in the description before adding grade items. Let's start by clicking on grades in the course menu of this preview course to get to the grader report. Graded activities like assignments and quizzes will automatically populate in the grader report and can be moved around or added to categories from the gradebook setup screen if they were not added when creating the assignment or quiz originally. You can also add manual grade items for which you plan on entering a grade directly into the gradebook versus grading through the Moodle activity like the assignment or the quiz. To add a grade item like a speech done in class or a participation check, start in Gradebook Setup, select Add Grade Item, name the item, choose the grade type, value is commonly chosen, and then set the maximum grade or points that you plan on typing in when you manually enter grades. If you are using categories, choose the category, like in this case, participation, and then save changes. Let's review how to add a manually graded item. You can also pause here and try these steps in your own Moodle course. Start in the Gradebook Setup menu. Select Add Grade Item. Name the grade item. Choose the grade type. Select a gradebook category if you have that set up. And finish by choosing Save Changes. Once the grade item is set up, you can start manually entering grades from the Grader Report. Be sure that editing is turned on. Once editing is turned on, each cell in the grid will have an entry box. To start entering grades, we recommend using the single view rather than the grader report. Choose single view from the drop down menu options at the top of the screen. In the single view of the assignment, enter grade values and optionally written feedback for students. In bulk, you can also add grades with the checkbox at the bottom of the screen. To do so, click the Perform Bulk Insert box, and then decide whether you want to enter grades for empty grades or all grades, enter points, and then you will click Save to make sure these actions are saved in the grader report. If you have created an assignment or other graded activity in Moodle, then typically you will grade that assignment from within the assignment page. Please note that you can add rubrics and grading guides to assignments, which would impact how you enter grades and feedback. Directions are provided in the description of this video. Within the assignment, there are two ways to get to the Entering Grades and Feedback screen. View All Submissions will take you to a page where you can review students' work, sort student submissions, and edit grades and add feedback. At the top of the page is a button to download all student submissions. This option is also provided via a drop-down list. Downloading submissions can be very useful if students have submitted essays or other files. You'll find all students' files downloaded into a folder by last name. To find the submissions that are ready to be graded, you can sort the table of students by clicking on the column headings. If you click on the status column twice, it will put all of the assignments that need to be graded at the top of the page. Then you can select the grade button to get to that student's submission page. You can also get directly to the student submissions page by clicking on the grade button instead of the view all submissions button. On the grading page, you can navigate to different students from a drop down list and from the Previous or Next User buttons. For each student, you can enter a grade, enter feedback, and you can decide whether or not to notify the student. When finished, be sure to click on Save. The Save and Show Next button will save the grade for this student and move on to the grading page for the next student. Other activities like forums and open-ended questions and quizzes will have different interfaces, but generally look for grading buttons. And when setting up the activity, check the settings related to grading. Help can be found with settings and grading procedures with the pop-up question mark help 
and with the Moodle help documentation at the bottom of each page. This video covered adding manual grade items to the Moodle gradebook and how to enter grades. If you would like additional help customizing your gradebook or have questions, please contact us at learntech.ncsu.edu.